Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Scenic Bill. Um, so this is kind of what I was alluding to about uh, construction being ghost buildings. There is a lot of this. Actually up here you can see people are actually living in that one. You can see them on the floors. And some of them are just abandoned. Ivy's crawling all over them. When I was walking here earlier, it kind of made me think that um, it remind me of like those post-apocalyptic movies you know the zombies are out and everything and like i'm like oh 28 days later that kind of shit can be done here but yeah um but that's kind of just the, the stuff that we're told right so um i've seen a lot of folks out doing work with a lot of construction workers that just get out for lunch um i've only been here a few hours <coughs> i was in my apartment in my hotel room and uh just getting ready and Decided to come out to try to get something to eat, but also to take a walk along the beach. Because these buildings are all along one of the beaches that are here. Um, funny enough, in all the time that I have been in Southeast Asia, and as close as I've been to the ocean, I have not gone to it yet. Um, I was even in Patia with Frank and Sarah, and we were right next to the ocean. Did not go, I didn't even, I didn't even walk on the sand. So I'm, I am a failed Canadian. You'd think that as a Canadian, the thing that'd be the most important to me would, oh God, I did it again. You get these broken stones and you step on them and they squish out and they just juice you. And now all of a sudden you got a soaker and soakers are not fun on sandals either. Don't let anybody to tell you otherwise, they suck. But yeah, um, where was it going? Failed Canadian, probably. Uh, so far, though, I've been enjoying it. The hotel room is great. Um, I actually did some unwind, edited out the first video for the overnight bus thing. I was like, okay, you're going you're gonna to work, Sean. This is, this is, this is not just a vacation. Um, kind of waiting to hear back from Frank, too, because I know he's coming into town. Um, I don't know quite know when his bus is arriving today, so... Um, I also know that there were sections during that trip that I lost signal. So, found a little area here. No idea what this even is. Okay to walk? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a, um, it's like a retail area, but it kind of is done up like Pub Street, <laughs> which I thought was kind of unique. But this just reminds me so much of like Chinatown and stuff in Toronto. Like the, uh, the warehouses and stuff and... <coughs> I have no idea. I don't need... None of these really look like they're active. So the one thing I've noticed so far here at Scenicville... Obviously the rain is one thing. Um, it is rainy season. Just because we haven't been getting tons of it in Siem Reap doesn't mean that it's not elsewhere in Cambodia. It is actually a thing here. Uh, Chad with the lady in the hotel. <clears throat> it's going to be like this for a long time. So I'm like, okay. Expect no sunshine. So I don't have to worry about sunblock, Mom. We're good. Uh, <laughs> she always pokes me if I'm going to the beach to put sunblock on my nose. Because when I was younger, I used to get burned all the time, so... Ooh, look at the water. Um, the other thing I've noticed, not just the rain, but it's actually considerably cooler here. Um, I'm out. Yeah, again, it's overcast, so it can't judge everything, but it's it's uh, definitely, I would say, at least 10 degrees cooler. At least it feels it. <coughs> so where I'm at here is down by the ferry ferry terminal apparently man this is wild I don't know if they're working over there I guess so there's some smoke coming from over there but those buildings over in that way with the green and stuff on them that's wild looking but that's some, that, that, that's a storm, for sure. 
Now, it could be that nothing is open because of the fact that it's raining and it is the rainy season. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to dip my toes in the ocean. Oh, man. islands look great too I just like you get like the little bit of the water mist from the ocean waves crashing all the garbage in the ocean I always keep my uh, sandals on I want to see how this feels oh my god I did it I got my feet in the water uh, this is actually quite warm Surprisingly. Oh. Oh, that feels good. I'm not going to lie. That feels really good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, man. Sam Reed, why don't you have the ocean next to you? <laughs> this is beautiful down here. Now, I know that uh, Frank's going to be on another beach, so I wanted to kind of visit this one to see what it was like. And this is amazing. Now, this may open up at night. It's entirely likely. <coughs> but, uh... Uh, and you can see like the the, uh, the clouds there, like that's oily smoke gets from something that they're working on over there. I think that looks like a backhoe. Yeah, some of the uh, diesel equipment here does not um, pump out the fumes I'm used to seeing. <laughs> but yeah, this is just this is next level for me. <coughs> And it is just pissing down rain. I'm gonna have to get in before it uh, completely gets me. Ah! Well, this looks like a little boardwalk here. Let's try this. I don't think any of these closed restaurants would mind if I hang out in there awning for a few minutes while everything passes. It's okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to stand here for a few minutes and uh, kind of enjoy this. This is this is absolutely lovely. I'm having a great time. So it seems to have calmed down a little bit. A little bit. I hit out in here. Well, the gentleman was doing the exact same thing, so... It, the wind actually picked up and just blew the rain right in. So, it was fun. I'm digging rainy season. It's not boring. This is a really cool little walkway. I'm digging this one, too. I mean, look at this. Look at that, all the way down. That's really cool. Probably getting moisture all over the lens, but yeah. Uh, I took a look online to see if there's any restaurants and most of the stuff that's down here, kind of pricey. I was hoping to find some local stuff, but I guess not down this way. But we can explore the beach and enjoy ourselves. I'm just loving the fact that I'm next to the ocean again. It's been a long time. Been too long. Yeah, even those islands that I could see earlier, they're gone. Like, you can just barely make them out on the horizon there. It smells right. It smells like the ocean.
This would be so much prettier if everything was open and busy. If I actually knew how to take vacations like regular people. You know, not when it's rainy season. I uh, hope you guys are okay going along for this ride. This is the kind of, uh, this is the jam I bring. Hey, at least I'm enjoying life. And I'm enjoying the rain. I don't have any issues with it. I just don't want to get soaked again. I was soaked when I got back to the hotel. Because I'd walked an hour in the rain. And mind you, I mean, my backpack on and I had my hat and everything. So, you know, I wasn't like feeling like I was a, a drowned rat. But <coughs> when I got the air conditioning turned on and I was settling down, I started to get a little chill and I'm like, what the hell? And it was just because of the fact that, you know, I was wet. This is beautiful. And yeah, so these are all the stores and stuff that's over here. And a lot of this stuff opens up at night too. So I might try to come back down here. Oh, a little rat, you see him? Well, dude's gotta eat. I've actually seen a uh, a few uh, deceased variants of those the last couple of uh, days here. Or the last couple of days. They've only been here today. Uh, on the walk down here today, I saw two or three. No, two rats and a mouse, it looked like. So maybe it was a baby rat. <coughs> I guess they have a hard life, too. This is definitely a touristy area. I imagine this place is just thumping when it's, the sun is out. This is a beautiful area. <clears throat> I love the fact that there's trees down here too. You can just kind of come down, hang out under a tree. That'd be nice. I told him over there putting coconuts in the bin. So, I think he's planning on working tonight. I think this sign sums it up. And I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the most beautiful bays in the world. And this would be where we are. It is quite stunning here. I like it. I did not expect to find this here. I'm not gonna lie. You know, you expect, I don't know, you, you, you come into these places with little, some preconceived notions, right? So it's hard not to. You, know, you do your best to not be judgmental, and I'm trying not to be, but uh, I, I knew that there's going to be a, uh, an extra element to this trip, you know, seeing a little bit more hardship than I'm used to. And, uh, yeah, you know, seeing folks living in the abandoned buildings, um, I saw some folks, there was like, like on the way here on the walk, I saw a bunch in the area that I was walking through, but now that I'm down here, less so, right? So you're down more into the, uh, you know, where the tourists would be, but look, I'm the only guy walking out here. And it's not that bad a day. You know? <laughs> There's no reason for it to be this quiet. And the other thing, too, is like when I was going uh, to the hotel this morning, uh, the street that I was walking down, I started seeing all these people dressed up. I'm like, what the heck outfits are these? And then I realized they work at the casinos. And there's everybody uh, trying to get to work for, uh, it would be 8 o'clock. There are dozens and dozens of people going into these buildings, so... I don't know how much business the casinos do. Not my thing. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to film in them. So, and I'm not a gambler. So it's not my thing anyway. I might poke my head in to see what it's like here. I mean, I've been to Vegas, you know. I've been to the uh, the casinos in Canada. So I'm not like, you know, it's not like I don't know what, what, a, what a gambling facility looks like. Man, these things look crazy. And those, that just looks all kinds of creepy weird. And they're just kind of hanging out up there. You're like, okay. I'm figuring something creepy is going to come down and grab a hold of me. And do nasty things. So there's a hot pot place. It's 1390 Yeah. <clears throat> so I kind of was figuring that the uh, prices were going to get more pricey. As I got into these areas, oh, there's some people in the van. They're in a, a truck, so. <coughs> there's a restaurant here called 888, so. But they're doing business, which makes me feel better. Yeah, there's an 888, there's a 555. There's a couple of different ones here. And I was looking at the, uh, the menus for them online, it was just not my thing. I'm seeing an old, an elderly man twerking. It has to be a good day. That, 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 is that a sign? I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that there's one of the signs of the apocalypse is fulfilled with that. So I've wandered around a bit. Still haven't found any street food, but uh, I did see casinos. They're all over the place. I found what I thought would be like a grocery store. I went into it, just down over there. And um, it turned out to be like a really high-end Asian food market, which was really weird to me. Now, I know I'm in Cambodia, I'm in an Asian country, but I think these were imported from one of the other countries. Um, and the prices in there were double easy for some of the stuff I've seen back in Siem Reap. Like even just ball of water was like 2,000 real instead of a thousand. So I was just like, okay. Just, it's easy for me to say no to places like that. But yeah, it's just like this area that I'm in, it's just either this huge open space with all these buildings but there's like almost nothing to see in them. It's just bizarre. Maybe Frank will be able to tune me into what's going on here, but I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. Even the dogs look confused around here. Look, look at that poor guy. He look confused to you. See? Confused. <laughs> Whoop. See? I was not even happy with me. Well, you came over to my side of the street. I'm just walking. Well, I think I'm going to uh, call it here. I'm going to keep wandering around, try to find something to eat. Oh, I think that was his dog. Okay. Oh, oh that's just love. Little boy and his dog. That's okay. I'll take the barks. Barks are fine. Yeah. I'm just gonna go try to find a place to eat. If not, I just have to go back to the hotel. I know there's a restaurant there. Maybe grab something there. But I haven't eaten since yesterday. So I'm kind of getting a little famished. Well, I've had the uh, ginger cakes things, but that's, that's not food. And I haven't found coffee. That's the other weird thing. There's no coffee shops that I have found here. Uh, the coffee culture just seems to not e exist here in, in Sinopil. I got no idea. Again, could be the wrong part of town I'm in. But it's a beautiful area. I mean, like, it's... It's got lots of character, for sure. 
Like I said, it's got huge open wide spaces between the buildings and stuff. But I and, and also on me, I have no idea what any of these places are. <laughs> Guy waved. But yeah. Um I don't know if I tell them. Anyway, this is a fun little adventure. They don't always have to be bangers. But this is just kind of how I do it. I kind of go out, wander around, and explore and walk. Endlessly walk. Ah. I, I know what I'll take you guys over to. Uh, it looks like a drag race is getting set up for the tuk-tuks here. <laughs> Hello! No, I'm good. It looks like you guys are going to race. <laughs> No, you're okay. Huh? Oh, it's okay. I like walking. Thank you. Yeah, they were set up there. Looking like they are getting ready to drag race. Um, apparently, I had no idea. But my hotel is next to a statue that people seem to want to go visit. So, the Golden Lions or something along those lines. Yeah, it's like, I see all these little places, I have no idea what they are. I'm so confused. So confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like, I'm, wow. Well, there's one thing I need to get while I'm here. And that is a hairbrush. I didn't pack mine. And when you got hair like mine, it's kind of necessary. You kind of got to keep it going. Otherwise, that frizz turns into dreadlocks. And not the fun kind. It's just a great big huge knot looks like a dead cat stuck to the back of your head. And those are never fun to untangle. So, but yeah. Like you mentioned, there is a gigantic statue here. The gold lines will end it on that. Why not? I've probably put in three, four kilometers walking this. Like, it's just, it's a cool area, man. I don't have anything against any of it. I don't understand it yet. And that's what time does. I got two days here. I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure out how this thing operates. Yeah, this is way differently laid out city that I'm used to. Like Bangkok. Ah. No, it had its wide areas, but it had a lot of those little streets that were like, you know, tight and I don't see any of that here. Like they got rid of all the, the fun stuff that makes it feel like a unique little city. Maybe they just replace it with something else. Okay. And here, I'll show you guys here. Oh God. Here is the, uh, the, the lions. If people want to come here to see, it looks like. This is actually a big roundabout. And I've walked almost every point. Uh, I came from that one. That's where I walked in from. I walked around this side, went down that way a little bit. And my hotel is down this way. So, I like it. I'm gonna go try to figure out where I'm gonna grab some lunch. I'm thinking up there. I think I saw some food stalls when I was coming down. More local stuff. I don't know. We're gonna go to find a little restaurant to sit down and eat in. Can't tell you. I don't know yet. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was actually fun. I like this little wander around. Uh, if you do like my content, please feel free to like, comment, share, and or subscribe. And as always, if you are still here and you are inclined, there's a link to another video over here. Right, I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye.